Well, here we are, the start of our Welsh Adventure 2023. The Varadeo is all loaded up uh, using the new tank bag. Thanks to a competition I won and courtesy of Bridge Motorcycles. Um, we've got uh, Givy Trekker case, which is, I must admit, probably overloaded. And a few soft things in here. Um, also today we're going to try using the Kalamoto app. Uh, I've done a few plans on it. It was sort of alright, I just don't like the map detail, it's not enough at all. Uh, but we're going to see how it goes and that's via a smartphone which has got no SIM card so I downloaded the maps on there and we'll see how that goes. And right, we're just waiting for Ian and Harvey to turn up. We've got an NC750 and an Africa Twin also coming with us. So, um, yep, that's going to be great. And speak of the devil, here comes Ian on the NC. A rather barky NC, that is. everyone we are just uh, gonna start driving or riding should I say the gospel pass it's been a, uh, a mixed bag of rain and sunshine and hopefully we're gonna keep some sunshine while we do this also I just let you know that uh, I'm trying out the Cali Moto app it's been a little bit hit and miss when it works, it works well, and when it doesn't, it's damn frustrating. I'll have to resort back to Google Maps. So, I don't know if it's me or the app, um, but at the moment, I don't think it's worth the £50 a year that it costs. But uh, at the end of the trip, we'll give you an idea. I may have changed my mind. There's some dark looking clouds in front. I really do hope it holds off. You certainly can't hurry this ride. All very narrow roads, blind bends. But who'd want to hurry it? It's gorgeous. And as you can see, Ian in my mirror and Harvey. Ian on the NC, Harvey on the Africa Twin. about the motor home done well. You certainly don't want to do this on a bank holiday or something like that. A 
a bit of mud on the road, I suspect from the heavy, recent heavy rainfall. Just got to be a little bit careful there. Definitely a scarecrow thing going on. It's really deteriorating now. There's a lot of mud on it, there's a lot of potholes. I would say you'd need a reasonable level of competency to ride this, especially after the rainfall and the mud and the gravel that's on this road. Basically, the people that live here, they got this journey backwards and forwards from their properties, in their cars, meeting holiday makers in motorhomes and caravans and such. As much as it's a gorgeous place to live, I bet it certainly has its challenges. I know a lot of green lanes that are in better condition than this. I'm not complaining because I love the character of it, but uh, I'm just trying to make out the point that uh, it's a little bit of a tricky ride. Always looking ahead at the potholes and where to position yourself, as well as keeping an eye on anyone not to uh, come flying around the corner, and also keeping an eye on the mud and the gravel and the road. So it's, uh, it's definitely a full on senses sort of ride. Beginning steeper ascent.
just had to take a, a few minutes to take it all in there. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> 